long. In the thrilling world of Cat and Not, players are thrown into a massive space station teetering on the brink of chaos, where survival hinges on mastering souls-like combat against grotesque enemies. As you navigate its eerie corridors, you'll discover haunting environments and face relentless foes, all while piecing together the mystery of what happened to the once vibrant inhabitants. With advanced time manipulation mechanics at your disposal, every death becomes an opportunity for growth. Revive, learn, and adapt using scattered memory fragments that unlock new abilities. Each descent into the depths of the station transforms your journey, offering fresh challenges and shifting pathways that keep you on your toes. Whether you're slashing foes up close or strategically picking them off from afar, Catanaut ensures that no two runs are ever the same in this unforgettable cosmic cleanup adventure. Number two. Welcome to the chaotic world of Olaf the Boozer, where the morning after is anything but ordinary. As our beloved dwarf grapples with the aftermath of his epic bender, you'll utilize a groundbreaking, time-rewinding mechanic to reverse the mess and restore order to the tavern, the Horned Rat. Forget the typical puzzle-solving rules, here you'll be pulling objects back in time to clean up broken furniture and disappear dirt, all while navigating a landscape filled with quirky humor and absurd situations. Each level you conquer reveals pieces of Olaf's drunken chaos, challenging your wit and creativity in a charming pixel art setting that feels both nostalgic and fresh. Dive into this whimsical adventure for a delightful two-hour romp that promises laughter, clever puzzles, and a sprinkle of dwarven charm. If you spend long hours coding, designing, or editing like I do, having a solid chair is a game changer. The folks at Flexispot know this, and they were gracious enough to sponsor this video and send me their Flexispot C7 Max, and it's already become my go-to office chair. Right out of the box, this thing feels well-built. It's sturdy, it's supportive, and comfortable for those long dev sessions. One of the best things about the C7 Max is how adjustable it is. You can literally tweak anything. The seat height, recline angle, lumbar support, headrests, and even the 5D armrests, which move in every direction to fit your setup. As someone over six feet tall, I really appreciate the lumbar support and headrest, which actually hit where they should. And while the leg rest is a little odd at first, once you get used to it, it's surprisingly comfortable when you want to kick back for a break. So if you're looking for an ergonomic upgrade without spending a fortune, the people at Flexispot, they've got some links in the description to help you save some money. Now back to the games. Number three. Experience a delightful winter wonderland where the penguins reign supreme in Penguin Festival. You may have already seen some Penguin VR posts on social media, and now it has a brand new Steam page so you can wishlist it. In this charming town, you'll interact with an endearing ensemble of characters while engaging in immersive, physics-based VR gameplay that truly brings the frosty fun to life. Whether you're fishing for the biggest catch or launching snowballs with friends, every moment is designed for maximum laughs. And as day turns to night, don't miss the vibrant festival filled with games and music. It's the perfect way to unwind at your own pace. With flexible play styles and comfort options, this snowy escapade is all about enjoying the chill, penguin style. Step into the shoes of a doorman in the spine-tingling world of That's Not My Neighbor, where doppelgangers lurk around every corner. Fueled by your keen observation skills, you'll sift through tenants' documents to discern who's truly human and who's just a crafty imposter. This job simulator weaves together an intriguing mix of science fiction and suspense, challenging your attention to detail like never before. With multiple game modes at your disposal, including a heart-racing nightmare mode and a creative custom mode, every playthrough offers a fresh twist on your doorman duties. Will you make the right calls and keep the doppelgangers at bay, or will your building succumb to the eerie chaos? And before we get to our last spot, congrats to last week's winner, Tessera. Be sure to vote for your favorite in the comments to have them included in this year's Gato Game Awards. And like last year, just because a game doesn't win its week, it doesn't mean it can't be included in the awards. Number five. Ever wanted to run your own bookstore? Now you can in the charming world of Bookbound, where you're not just running a bookstore, but crafting a unique haven for book lovers in a bustling city. With pixel art aesthetics that pull you right into a cozy ambience, you'll have the freedom to decorate your shop with genre-themed items from sci-fi to romance ensuring every corner tells a story. As you help customers find their next great read, you'll also unlock exciting bonuses and expand your catalog daily, making each visit a new adventure for both you and your patrons. 
You can also gather inspiration from your surroundings to pin your own literary masterpieces complete with personalized titles and covers and watch as they fly off the shelves. You can check it out on Steam. And remember, if you're working on a game or hobby project in the Gato engine, you too can be featured in This Week in Gato and the new hobby game video is coming soon. Just use the links in the description to submit your project.